the the European Center for Nuclear Research, right. which is acronymed out at CERN. CERN. And so you say, whoa, we can do this. We can probe nice. the, the Big Bang itself, giving us a little taste of the origin of the universe in our backyard. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Universal Narratives, a channel dedicated to unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos. CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, is an intergovernmental organization dedicated to pushing the boundaries of scientific knowledge in the field of particle physics. Recently, Neil deGrasse Tyson revealed that CERN has shut down and something strange is happening. Join us as we uncover the truth about what is really happening at CERN and how these secret discoveries could forever change the way we conceive scientific research. Scientific research has been ongoing for centuries, but CERN has taken things to the next level. This facility was founded in 1954 and is located near Geneva, Switzerland, on the border with France. Although CERN deals with many things, one of its main functions is to operate the world's largest particle physics laboratory. It serves as a center for international collaboration, bringing scientists and researchers from around the world together to explore the fundamental structure of the universe. We could say that at the center of CERN's research are particle accelerators, which are huge machines that push particles to extremely high speeds. These accelerators are designed to recreate the conditions that existed just after the Big Bang, so scientists can study the fundamental building blocks of matter and how they interact to create the universe we know. One of CERN's major successes is its collaborative nature. CERN has created an environment that fosters international cooperation among scientists. It is made up of 23 member states, mainly European, although Israel is the only non-European member. Scientists from member and non-member countries work side by side, sharing knowledge, skills, and resources to advance the boundaries of science. If such an important and solid structure as CERN were to close, something huge must have happened, and it is likely that it happened at the Large Hadron Collider, LHC. The LHC is a huge machine built by CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, its construction required a collaborative effort involving over 10,000 scientists, numerous universities, laboratories, and more than 100 countries. The LHC holds the title of being the largest and most powerful particle collider in the world. It has the ability to accelerate beams of particles to extremely high energies, which means it can make the particles move at speeds very close to that of light. By reaching such high energies, the particles acquire an enormous amount of kinetic energy allowing scientists to explore the fundamental nature of matter in the universe. Once these beams of particles are accelerated in the LHC, they are guided to collide with each other or with stationary targets, hence the name collider. These collisions occur at specific points inside the LHC detectors. The detectors are sophisticated instruments designed to capture and record the particles produced by these collisions. During the collisions, Many different types of particles are created and their properties are carefully observed and analyzed. Scientists study the characteristics of these particles to better understand their behavior, interactions, and the underlying physical laws that govern them. Through the entire process of observing and recording the results of these collisions, LHC experiments contribute to our understanding of particle physics. The data collected from the collisions is analyzed to search for new particles study their properties, and test theories that describe the fundamental nature of the universe. For all of this to happen, the collider must be built in the right way in an underground tunnel that forms a circular shape with a circumference of about 17 miles. This tunnel is located at a depth of about 574 feet below the surface, so it can carry out its task in peace, without being disturbed by what might happen on the surface. What the LHC primarily does is to accelerate particles to extremely high energies, serving as a particle accelerator that pushes particles such as protons at speeds close to that of light. By doing so, scientists can create collisions between these accelerated particles, allowing them to investigate the properties and behavior of matter at very small levels. One of the main goals of the Large Hadron Collider is to study the standard model of particle physics. The standard model is a theory that describes fundamental particles and their interactions. Studying particles and matter at their core can provide much more information than can be obtained from a book or theoretical experiment. Not only that, but the LHC is also used to search for phenomena that go beyond the predictions of the standard model. 
Scientists are particularly interested in exploring concepts such as supersymmetry, extra dimensions, and other theories that could expand our understanding of particle physics. Supersymmetry is a theoretical framework that suggests a symmetry between two fundamental classes of particles, bosons and fermions. According to the standard model, bosons are particles that carry forces, such as photons, while fermions are the building blocks of matter, such as electrons and quarks. Supersymmetry proposes that for every particle known in the standard model, there exists a corresponding superpartner particle with different spin properties. For example, the superpartner of a fermion would be a boson and vice versa. These superpartners have not yet been observed, but their existence could help answer certain still unanswered questions in physics. One of the main reasons why supersymmetry is of interest is its potential to explain the nature of dark matter. Dark matter is a mysterious form of matter that does not interact with light or other electromagnetic forces, making it invisible to our current detection methods. Supersymmetry provides a possible candidate for dark matter in the form of the lightest supersymmetric particle, which would be stable and weakly interacting. Another problem that supersymmetry could help solve is the hierarchy problem. This problem stems from the large disparity between the strength of different fundamental forces, such as gravity, which is extremely weak compared to the other forces. Supersymmetry introduces additional interactions between particles that can help compensate for certain quantum corrections and stabilize the hierarchy of forces. In addition to dark matter, there is also the concept of extra dimensions. Our everyday experience involves three spatial dimensions, length, width, and height. However, some theories propose the existence of additional spatial dimensions beyond these three. These extra dimensions are compacted or rolled up in such a way as to not be directly observable in our macroscopic world. But that does not mean they do not exist. The extra dimensions have been suggested by theories such as string theory and some variants of quantum gravity. These theories propose that the universe may have more than three spatial dimensions, but the extra dimensions are hidden at extremely small levels. LHC experiments aim to search for possible signatures of extra dimensions by examining particles and their interactions at high energies. One possibility is that the graviton, a hypothetical particle associated with gravity, may spread into these extra dimensions, producing observable effects in LHC experiments. Scientists are particularly interested in deviations from the predictions of the standard model that could indicate the presence of extra dimensions. Deviations of this kind could manifest as unexpected patterns in particle collisions or in the production of new particles that do not fit well into the three-dimensional framework of the standard model. But how does the collider do all this? Well, there's a lot behind it. The Large Hadron Collider essentially operates with four main detectors inside it, ATLAS, CMS, LHCb, and ALIC. Each of these detectors has a specific purpose and is designed to investigate different aspects of particle physics. ATLAS and CMS are general-purpose detectors that are versatile and able to study a wide range of physical phenomena. They are designed to capture and analyze the particles produced by collisions in the LHD. These detectors provide complete measurements of particle properties, such as their momentum, energy, and direction. Scientists use data collected from ATLAS and CMS to search for new particles, explore the forces and fundamental particles of nature, and test various theories. LHCb, on the other hand, is a specialized detector dedicated to studying the subtle differences between matter and antimatter. Antimatter is essentially the mirror image of matter with particles that have opposite charges. The LHC detector is designed to precisely measure the properties of particles and their corresponding antimatter, allowing scientists to investigate why our universe is predominantly composed of matter and why antimatter is scarce. ALICE, the fourth detector, is specifically designed to explore the properties of a unique state of matter called quark gluon plasma. It is believed that the state of matter existed shortly after the Big Bang, when the universe was extremely hot and dense. ALICE -E helps to recreate these extreme conditions by colliding heavy ions like lead nuclei and studying the behavior of quarks and gluons, which are the building blocks of protons, neutrons, and other particles. By studying quark gluon plasma, scientists aim to better understand the early universe and the conditions that prevailed during its formation. We need to learn more about how the early universe was formed and how it transformed into what it is today. The way the LHC works allows scientists to learn every aspect of matter. Studying matter in extreme temperature and density conditions, 
we get answers about the nature of particles and how they work. That is why scientists working on these projects have found the perfect way to recreate the conditions just after the Big Bang with the LHC, making it much easier to get to the root of these questions. During the early stages of the universe, temperature and density were incredibly high. So by recreating these extreme conditions in the laboratory, scientists can observe how particles interact and understand the fundamental laws that govern their behavior. This research helps us uncover the underlying principles that shape the behavior of matter and energy at the most fundamental level. By studying matter in extreme conditions, scientists can explore phenomena such as phase transitions, where matter transforms from one state to another. These phase transitions can reveal valuable information about the symmetry and structure of the early universe. The discoveries made through LHC experiments have a significant impact on our understanding of particle physics and the universe. Not only do they contribute to testing and refining the standard model, but also to probing theories beyond the standard model, such as supersymmetry and extra dimensions. The results obtained can support or refute these theories, opening up new directions of research and pushing the boundaries of our scientific knowledge. However, it is important to remember that science is an evolving process. Although CERN has temporarily closed, scientific research continues around the world. The data and discoveries made so far in the field of particle physics are just the starting point for further investigation and new questions. The temporary closure of CERN may represent a moment of reflection and planning for the future of scientific research. So, while we wait to discover what will happen at CERN and how these secret discoveries could change the way we conceive scientific research, we must be ready to welcome new information and new challenges. Human curiosity and the thirst for knowledge will continue to guide scientists in their effort to explore the universe and unveil its deepest secrets. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay connected, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up.